E-governance is a powerful tool that can be used to improve the way government works. As technology continues to develop, the potential benefits of e-governance are likely to increase. In this video, we'll discuss what e-governance is, as well as explain how e-governance differs from e-government. We will also list some of the benefits of e-governance, including some of the barriers in implementing e-governance. We will then conclude by discussing the future of e-governance. Now, let's get into today's video by first explaining what we mean by e-governance. E-governance, or electronic governance, is the use of information and communication technologies to improve the efficiency, effectiveness, transparency, and accountability of government processes. E-governance can be used to deliver government services to citizens, businesses, and other organizations, as well as to improve internal government operations. Essentially, e-governance is about the use of information technology to raise the quality of the services governments deliver to citizens and businesses. It is hoped that e-governance will also reinforce the connection between public officials and communities, thereby leading to a stronger, more accountable, and inclusive democracy. The term e-governance is often used interchangeably with the term e-government. Although there may be similarities between the two terms, there are subtle differences between the two. E-government, on the one hand, refers to the use of information and communication technologies to deliver government services to citizens, businesses, and other organizations. This can include things like online tax filing, electronic procurement, and e-voting. While e-governance is a broader term that refers to the use of technology to improve the overall governance of a country or region. This can include things like improving transparency and accountability, increasing citizen participation, and strengthening the rule of law. In the next section, we will look at some of the benefits of e-governance. But before we do that, we'd like to welcome you back to our channel where we discuss everything public administration, public finance, and the administration of government. Now let's get back to today's video by discussing some of the benefits of e-governance. So, what are some of the benefits of e-governance? E-governance improves service delivery to citizens. It also improves the interface between the government and members of the public, including businesses, as well as civil organizations. It also provides a proper collaboration with other agencies. Not to mention that, it creates a greater convenience because it makes government services available 24-7. It also facilitates a quick finalization of issues plaguing citizens and businesses. E-governance also empowers citizens through access to knowledge and access to information. It further ensures a smoother flow of information by providing online access to information, as well as online application submissions and electronic processing. It further makes government service delivery more efficient and effective. E-governance also improves transparency in the public sector. It is also a proven tool to reduce corruption in government. When used correctly and efficiently, E-governance can also grow government's revenue and reduce government costs. There are however, barriers or stumbling blocks to implementing e-governance. Some of them are as follows. Some governments and public sector employees are often resistant to change. There is also public skepticism to the use of technology. People may also have fears about their privacy and security. There is often lack of public awareness. Infrastructure such as telecommunication and internet services in certain areas may be lacking. Knowledgeable IT staff and departments may also be lacking. In conclusion, let's look at the future of e-governance. The future of e-governance is said to be bright. As technology continues to develop, new and innovative ways to use e-governance will emerge. Some of the trends that are likely to shape the future of e-governance include the following. The rise of mobile government. Mobile devices are becoming increasingly popular 
and this is leading to a rise in mobile government. This is when governments develop mobile apps and websites that allow citizens to access government services on their smartphones and tablets. The use of big data. Big data is the collection of large and complex datasets. Governments are increasingly using big data to improve their decision making. For example, governments can use big data to identify areas where services are needed, to target interventions, and to track the effectiveness of programs. The use of artificial intelligence, or AI. Artificial intelligence is a rapidly developing field, and governments are starting to explore the use of AI to improve e-governance. For example, artificial intelligence can be used to automate tasks, to provide customer service, and to make predictions. The focus on citizen centricity. Governments are increasingly focusing on citizen centricity. This means that, governments are designing e-governance systems, with the needs of citizens in mind. For example, governments are making sure that e-governance systems are easy to use, and that they meet the needs of all citizens, including those with disabilities. These are just a few of the trends that are likely to shape the future of e-governance. As technology continue to develop, new and innovative ways to use e-governance will emerge. This will lead to a more efficient, transparent, and accountable government that is better able to serve the needs of its citizens. We've come to the end of our video on e-governance. Let us know in the comments section below on how technology can be used to improve government services. Or you can share your thoughts on this video as well as other public administration topics by leaving us a comment below this video. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. We'll see you again next time. But until then, you can also check out these other videos under our channel. Thank you again for watching. You can also continue the conversation on social media at ConsultCarno or using the hashtag ConsultCarno. Carno Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust.